$35 for an Axial Yeti XL? You must have lost your mind. Just get those wonderful toys. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We have got a great one today. Look what I found. Oh my gosh. I have wanted an Axial Yeti XL in my collection for so long and now I've got one. And it didn't really come along like I thought it would come along. Of course, you guys know that the Axial Yeti XL and the Yeti Junior have been canceled, discontinued for quite some time. However, the Yeti has quite a following, uh, uh, really a cult following. There are a lot of people that get really excited when you start talking about the Axial Yeti XL. And there's a lot of reasons for it. Um, and there were a couple flaws with it, which is probably why it got discontinued, but they're easily fixable. And this is one amazing platform. All right, guys, you're never going to believe what I got this for. $35. No way, right? Well, this is the story. We came across this at a garage sale, and obviously I had to have it. Uh, I wasn't leaving without it. This is what we ended up negotiating with. 35 bucks guys it just goes to show you what you can find if you're just looking in the right places so a lot of it's luck but if you're not looking you just never know so let's take a look around this axial yeti all right first of all we see a pile of bolts down here and let me show you there's been a couple of them that we have actually had to Dremel because they were uh, just no good. They were stripped out. And that is really good to use, guys. Just Dremel it straight across, cut a straight line, and use a straight screwdriver to get it out. It's really a good hack, and uh, I use it all the time successfully, even on an old rust bucket like this Axial Yeti. So. One of the cool things about this is it had the motor. And if you guys uh, know anything about the Axial Yeti, they had partnered up with Castle Creations and they have uh, a Vanguard uh, 2200 KV XL motor in here. And this thing is absolutely amazing. This was back in the day when uh, uh, Castle Creations was partnering up with uh, Traxxas, like when they did the funny car motor um, and the Axial Yeti uh, right here, guys. This thing is a monster motor, uh, has the big connectors on it. Incredible. And it is free, guys. Uh, and it looks to be uh, straight. Uh, I was able to get the pinion off. No problem. So there it is. All right, so let's take a look around these, uh, these wheels. Now these, uh, I wouldn't think that this came from the factory like that uh, Axial, right? Uh, these are absolutely mixed match. These are uh, the D-boot backflips. Um, I believe these are off of the Notorious or, or possibly the Outcast. I can't see if they're the LPs uh, or not. Uh, I think they're the probably the full size backflips, and uh, back here we've got uh, the original tires. In uh, well, let's just say that these things have seen better days, guys. Uh, along with um, some more handiwork right there on uh, the nut and hub. So. One of the things I was kind of disappointed to find was this guy had lost his head. That's terrible, guys. Uh, I'm not sure exactly uh, how hard this is to get a hold of, but we're going to try to find uh, another head uh, so we can make this driver pair complete. But wow, the body's in excellent condition. Uh, really cool stuff. Um, I have checked a lot of the bolts. All right, guys, are you ready for this? This is a mess, okay, $35. So it, we are pretty bare in here. However, um, well, guys, the first problem of this is this doesn't stay up. <laughs> you guys who have owned Axial Yetis know what I'm talking about. All right, hang on, guys. I'm gonna get something. 
All right, all right. This is what I've been using. An Arma Kratten tire there, okay. All right, look at here. We have got a missing top to our receiver box. So, uh, looks like um, it is uh, greased up there with waterproof stuff. Um, this, uh, this, this is the motor mount. And no, guys, I did not break this. Uh, it came broken like that. Uh, the transmission is all free. Um, we have uh, checked the bolts on, on it. It does not have a front drive cup, so there's a lot of parts missing. There's no slipper clutch setup, no spur gear, uh, no servo. Uh, we do, it looks like we do have um, the linkage right here. It looks like these are the original, um, it looks like axial shocks uh, and um, really pretty impressive, guys. Look at that. Not bad for an old timer here. The back end is a little clunky, um, needs a little TLC. That's okay, that's exactly what this thing's about to get. So it looks like uh, we're really only missing a handful of parts. Pretty much the whole slipper setup with spur gear. Uh, of course, the top here, um, we've got the, the motor and we've got the uh, motor mount. We do not have the ESC. It did not come with that. It didn't come with a receiver. Um, but really, it's pretty intact. We don't have any pins down here, but those are all basic uh, parts of an RC car that we will absolutely have and we'll be putting on. But wow, how remarkable that this body is in this good a condition after all these years. And uh, really, uh, there's a little bit of rust around the drive cups, but everything seems to be moving freely. The diffs seem to be moving freely. Um, the drive shafts are free. Everything looks good, guys. It looks like we have a platform to possibly restore uh, an original Axial Yeti XL. Wow, what a great opportunity. I'm so excited about this, guys. There's only a handful of RCs that I am always on the lookout for. The Axial Yeti XL is one of them. The Clod Buster is another one. That one is so near and dear to my heart. All right, guys. Well, this thing is going to be one of our projects. And I know we've been dealing with a lot of expensive builds lately, but this just goes to show you that you don't have to spend a lot to get a lot. All you have to do is be at the right place at the right time and you can find a diamond in the rough. Wow, look at this thing. This is going to be amazing. I've actually got a couple ideas for this, guys. Um, I'm thinking maybe what we do is tear out this interior and build an interior of our own. Maybe we do two animated figures in there, like arms and heads and legs and everything. Wow, what? <laughs> that would be some crazy stuff on this basher. Maybe we even devise something to take care of this body. We wanna make sure that we can get in and out of this and work on this uh, without uh, having our, our head balance this or some, uh, some uh, other piece or a tire. I think that there's something that we can come up with uh, to help that out. Wow, guys, I am totally excited about this build. And um, it may be a build, it may be a original restoration. It, we'll just see how easy the parts are to get a hold of. Uh, I wanted to show you guys what this was before we started tearing into it and uh, getting inside the differentials and everything and making sure that uh, everything is ready to go. It may be a little while before we get it out on the, uh, the track, out on the grass, out on, on and see what we can do with it. But this is an opportunity for us to build this out uh, either in its original form or have some really cool animatronics going on here. All right, guys, until the next one, we will see you radio heads later.